Hey guys, how's it going? Warfields1 here, bringing you part 8 of my Let's Play Medal of Honor Frontline HD on the PlayStation 3, and yup, you guessed it, this is not live commentary. This is the Golden Lion on Medal of Honor, and it's quite possibly the hardest level ever made, ever. Like, I played this about 20 times. I tried to do a live commentary, honestly, 5 or 6 times, I just couldn't, I just died every time. Died, died, died all the time, this poxy ass level. And I just was determined to complete it, made sure I recorded it. Finally did it. It took me about 20 efforts. 20. It's so difficult. And you see here, not the greatest start. Down a quarter health already. Um, this is one of the levels people struggle with most of all on this game. And I know a lot of you guys have watched my other parts. If you haven't, check them out, guys. All the other parts are live commentary. This one's not. So this is going to be the longest pre-recorded commentary ever by Waterfields 1. Um, but... Yeah, all you guys said I can't wait until you do the Golden Lion because it is so difficult and I want to see how you go about and do it. Okay, so this is how I do it, guys. I'm just going to talk you through my mental state and what I do and how I do it. Springfield Sniper Rifle, again, is a beast. I loves it. Can't stop using that gun. It's just so easy and awesome to use, okay? Um, why is it so difficult? Because there's so many enemies and the thing is with this game, the AI... They they just seem to hit you no matter what. Sometimes like they'll just shoot and it'll hit you constantly, and that happens. There's nothing you can do to prevent it sometimes. But biggest tip, as you see here, best friend is grenades or are grenades even. Grenades will help you so so much. You see, I throw one in this room, kill the two guards. I threw a couple earlier, right at the start. I threw one down to blow up the two guards there as well, guys. Grenades are your best friends. Keep make sure you've got plenty of grenades. You shouldn't. Run. Um, if this is your first time watching this Let's Play, you'll see that the other parts I said already are live commentary. This is on the hardest difficulty, guys. This is my first playthrough of this version of the game, and it's on the hardest difficulty. I did play it on the PS2 back years and years ago when it first came out, and I absolutely loved it. So when I bought the Medal of Honor, the new version, Collector's Edition, which came with Medal of Honor HD, Frontline HD remade on it, um, I was buzzing to play this game again. Now that's why I'm doing the Let's Play because it's sort of memories. This is my the biggest game for me back on PS2. I loved, loved, loved this game. Couldn't get enough of it. I used to talk to my friends about it all the time. It was an amazing game back back in its time. You know, we've now got Call of Duties which have overtaken Medal of Honor, unfortunately. But yeah, it's nice to to go back here and again, I said I've played this level quite a few times before this one and I played this early early section so so much better so many times and I mean I just thought it was never gonna happen to be honest uh, you see looks like I keep losing health here again get to this stage now on the left hand side I throw grenades again like I said because I know there's guards in this little bit here the left hand side is an alarm okay my next tip is obviously grenades see here with the Thompson shoot the little grey box over there on the left hand side Take out the alarms as soon as you can, guys, okay? Prioritise those alarms. If you don't destroy the alarms, what happens is one of the Nazis will run over, set the alarm off, and then loads, loads more enemies spawn, and they run from somewhere else, and it makes your life a hell of a lot more difficult, okay? Um, next tip, these green Humvee car things. Open the front of them, always have a health back in. Objective-wise, get the tools, and this isn't sped up, guys. This is me playing the game properly at its normal rate. You have to disable all these vehicles, you can see here the trucks, oil spill, cars, front of the engine, green Humvees, back, little spark on the engine, they're disabled, okay guys, remember, front of the Humvees for ammo and health though, that is crucial on this level, because you, you, I'm going to be honest, you're going to lose a lot of health, and those health packs help a lot, what a shot that is with the sniper up on there, where's your friend, fail, oh no it wasn't a fail, got him, Oh, I am a sniping pro, have it. Um, yeah, remember where your health packs are if you can, guys, because you will need them. Obviously, this st area gets locked down a little bit, but another two guys. So this bit here, in my previous plays, I rinsed them. They'd never got a single shot at me, and now I'm just letting them shoot the crap out of me. It's really annoying, but as I said, the later stages of the ones I kept dying at, I really master them and that's where I improve and that's how I finish the level in the end which is awesome um, what else to say tips wise obviously the green Humvee things health 
alarms. I said prioritize those alarms, and you'll see here. This this is where the game starts to get difficult. We come through this door, and my best friend. I can't go anywhere until you clear the area of Germans. I don't want them to see my. Clear the area of Germans. I don't want them to see my trucks. I did the voiceover there. No. Um. Crouch in here. Stealth elements are a pretty big part of this level as well. So I crouch, do the stealth. I'm gonna take my time to crawl over to these boxes here. And what this is gonna allow me allow me to do is get a sight on that alarm on the far side. And as I said, prioritize the alarm for the tenth time. I'm gonna look down, I can see a guard in front of the alarm, and I'm deciding should I take him out or should I take the alarm out. In the end, decide to take out the guard and then I take out the alarm. The guy is slightly to my left is going to try and set up the alarm, but luckily, you see I destroy it and then he runs over to turn it on. What an idiot. So I think I'll take him out. I couldn't see if I killed him there or not. But then I've got these guys to take out. By taking out the alarm, there's nobody on the rooftops and there's no other enemies spawn. Okay, so that's what I've done there. And that's the idea, guys. Take out that alarm. alarm. It makes your life so, so much easier. Less stressful, less hassle, less enemies to kill. It is... Throughout this game, the enemies on the rooftops are the most difficult because sometimes you can just about see their head peeking over the rooftop, but they will shoot you and hit you every time. It's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's the key thing. And obviously, now you see me just clearing out of this area, taking them all out. I said the green Humvee car things again, health in there. I'm going to burp in a second and I can't re record this because I haven't got time. So I apologise if I burp randomly in a second. Um, there we go, job done. Um, that was discreet, I guess. But it's areas like this. There's another two areas after this one which are very, very similar with an alarm, with the cars, with the enemies, and you have to crouch, creep up to it, take out the alarm, and take out the enemies. Okay, that's the way to go about it, guys. Do not go for the enemies straight away because they will set off the alarm and you're screwed at that point. But you see here, more cars to disable. Um, other big tip is about the alarms. You can do it without shooting the alarms. Okay, I've got through this area and the next area without even bothering with the alarm. Okay, but you will find, as I did a couple of times, and it took me about 10 minutes to figure that out, that you have to destroy the alarm to move on to the next area, to get back in the truck and him to drive you on to the next area. Okay, if you do not disable the alarm, you can't move on. Okay, because I disabled the trucks, so I'm like, what's going on? I've destroyed the trucks and you won't let me move on. I thought the game had frozen and broken. Then I destroyed the alarm, and then you can go. Okay, because by destroying the alarm, it says the area is completely clear. Okay. But this is pretty cool. Uh, I'd say on rails, it's not really, you're just being teleported to the next stage on the back of the truck. You can't kill that guy, you have to turn around. When you go past him, you can kill them. If you're lucky, they won't hit you, like that guy didn't there. But then you have these guys who, as you see here, there's pretty much nothing I can do to stop myself getting hit there. Luckily, I only get shot once. Sometimes you get shot two or three times. And in that case, again, you, you just have to deal with it. But here we are. Second area again. I've crouched down. And what I'm going to do is crawl up to these boxes again. Use them as cover. Try and get a sight on that alarm. You know, as I said 20 times at the start, prioritize the alarm. Take out the alarm. You can then move on to the next area. Obviously, no more enemies are going to spawn again. If you don't get the alarm, they set off the alarm. You see a guy running over to get it. There will be enemies spawn on the rooftops, and they are so irritating. As I said before, they hit you almost every time. So make sure you get the alarm. Done that. Easy job now. Take out the three, four guards that are still in this area. Take them out. I'm going to use this barrel here as cover just to reload my weapons, reload my Thompson, and reload the Springfield. Again, Springfield is your best friend, people. You'll see here, right in front of me, it's actually a truck. Again, open it up if I need some help, which I think I do in a little bit. I'm pretty sure I do. I can't remember. I've played this level so many times, I can't even remember what I do in this playthrough that I actually succeed. Um, yeah. So, guys, what do you think about this level? If you've played the game, did you struggle with it? Or are you going to be cocking a <laughs> you struggler Warfield one? I finished this first time because I'm sure you did. Yeah, well done, genius. Get a life. <laughs> um, it's it is unbelievably difficult, guys. But if you use what I've told you so far with the alarms, the grenades, and the stealthy bits, then you'll be absolutely fine and get through it. Okay, it's really cool though. I do I do like this level now that I've finished it. Beforehand I was hating it, I'll be honest, I was absolutely despising it, but yeah, 
crack on guys. I mean, I'm sure some of you are actually watching this as a walkthrough. So, I if you know a better way to do it, then please tell me and let me know because I I think I've pretty much mastered it. I think I could if I think if I put this level back on now, I'd complete it because I I've, I've got the technique down. That church is really something for you. Look it doesn't even look like a church, mate. He's saying this church is really something. It doesn't look like a church. Anyway, this part is where I died a hell of a lot. Get your grenades out so you're ready. On your right hand side, there's two guards here. Try your hardest to blow them up with grenades. You see here I throw sort of three grenades roughly in their direction to kill them. Another guy in this corner here. Again, throw a couple of grenades at him. Always jumps you off on the left hand side. You need to get your tomps out. You need to take out this guy. Otherwise, again, you'll get killed. Okay, for some reason, my grenades didn't actually take out these two guys here, so I pull out my Springfield, and again, I get pretty lucky with my shooting there. It's some pretty damn good accuracy by myself, I have to say. Not, not to brag, big myself up, but yeah, that's the bit here. Really difficult. When you've taken them out, you want to work your way back, because there's a lot of guys in the courtyard over the, room, over the room, over the wall on the other side. So you need to really take your time to pick them off. Okay, so I take that guy ran out for some reason. I'm then going to stay down here. I'm going to look through this doorway and see if I can see this guy. Take out all the guys you can see as soon as possible, guys, because there are so, so many of them in this little courtyard. And I think I take quite a while on this bit. Okay, so don't don't stress out. Oh, you're too slow, Waterfields. You've been on this bit for ages. I've got one guy on the rooftop. Make sure you take him out again. You see here. I'm so far away, but he still hit me from that distance. Crazy AI. But, yeah, the reason I take my time this bit is because this is the part I died on so many times. It's just, an, oh, it's so irritating thinking, yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm dead. I'm dead again. And I'm dead again. And as I said, when you're doing live commentaries, you're trying, I'm trying to talk and obviously keep you guys interested and intrigued and excited. And then I die, so I rage and swear a lot. That's the good thing about this not being live. I'm not swearing. I mean, the last part, I corrected my swearing. The bit before that, I sweared like there's no tomorrow. Because it's it's frustrating. I get, I get the rage when I play games. I do. I do get the rage quite badly sometimes. The the one game, as I said, Killzone 2, Radic, not Radic Academy, that's the level. It's the last boss when you have to kill Radic. I, oh, I just remember hating that. That was on elite difficulty, so the hardest difficulty on Killzone 2. It's almost impossible, and I did it, got my platinum trophy on Killzone 2, but that caused me to rage so, so much. It was unbelievable. But, yeah, guys, the enemies on this part, they always come around this corner here, so that's why I keep putting my sniper rifle onto that corner. Pick off the stragglers, so there's a few more around here. You'll see me look up on this corner here. There's a guy with a machine gun sometimes up on the rooftop on that corner. Okay, he's killed me a few times. I have no idea why he's not there on this playthrough, but oh, I'm an expert sniper, look at that. But yeah, he's he doesn't spawn there on this, this playthrough, so I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain, to be honest, because he killed me a couple of times, but he has a machine gun. So do, if you're playing this yourself, do check out that that roof corner up there on the right hand side again because he'll he'll try and take you out and I think I have another look up there just to oh see you later mate his mate then bails on him <laughs> runs to the box and doesn't use the cover look oh great cover mate you're dead but do I no I don't even bother to look up there but that machine gun guy he is an ass so make sure you, you keep your eye out for him guys open up this gate Area clear for me, thank God. I'm then going to jump back into... Well, I don't know why I paused it there. Jump back into this truck. Let's get moving. And away we go again. Again, Thompson out this time, guys, because there's four, four or five Nazi Nazis walking along this road. And again, they will hit you and take away your health, which you desperately need. So you see here with my Thompson, I zoom in a little bit, take them out. There's another two on the corner up here in the red light. Again, I think I don't think I kill these guys, I think I just wound them, which stops them shooting at me, which is what I want them to do. I just don't want them to shoot at me more than anything else, okay? Anyway, the third and final area where you have to prioritize those alarms is this bit here. So again, you see I crouch down. I'm gonna crawl really, really slowly up to this far corner, okay? Because that's where the alarm is. The alarm is up in this corner. There'll be one guy 
in front of the alarm, so I'm going to take him out in a little bit, and then again, I'm on to that alarm. Take out the alarm, my life is so, so much easier. And you can see here how I'm talking to you and telling you where the guys are. It's, it's easy for me to do it because I've played it so many times. So, so many times. I hate it. Uh, I, I hate this level, the Golden Lion. It's, it is the most difficult level, I believe. I'm sure I'm going to get more frustrated. Again, take him out straight away. I'm ignoring that guy there. Take out that alarm. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Whip up my Thompson, which has no ammo, so I'm doing the, the jumps. Run around the side. Gun him down with my machine gun. Pretty much cleared this area now. And this is the luckiest headshot with the Thompson ever. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'd love to say that's all skill, but we know it's not. That was luck. But yeah. At this point, I'm thinking, right, where are the other guys? Where are the other guys? Where are the other guys? And then I realised that there are no other guys. So in a minute, I think, I do a little celebratory jump session. Yep, there we go. Celebrating, because I'm so happy I've got through to this area. But... There is one more guy who pops out of the back of this truck. <laughs> I'll take him out with the Thompson anyway. Objective wise, you need to get a uniform from the back of that truck. You need to take out these vehicles again. As I said, front of the car for health, back of the car, take out the engine. That's your objective done. Big truck, take down the oil, people. I'm pretty excited because I know I've pretty much done the level at this point. Even though there's a there's a, a what I was told was a really difficult part coming up, but I didn't find it that difficult anyway. You come in. You get your uniform, which is going to allow you to get into the Golden Lion Pub, which is where you're going to meet your uh, informative, who obviously gives you some information that you don't know about, or something or other. Don't really know. Anyway, one more time, back in the truck we go, we're going to drive on to the last stage, guys. This is the last part of this level. Looking at this, I was looking at this statue, and actually I was thinking, what the hell is that statue about? Uh, who knows? Right, grenades out. Key for this part of the level again. Get your grenades out. Hoss my grenade over there. There is an alarm. You see, they turn the alarm on. Can't really prevent that. I'm going to throw my grenades over that bit. I think my own grenade took away most of my health there, which is not good. Again, I get pretty lucky at this point. There's a barrier up on this bridge that you need to destroy. I throw that grenade. Luckily for me, that grenade, you can see there, kills them all. I'll get so lucky. Right, crouch down this corner of your sniper up. You should be okay. There's a guy with a bazooka there, you can see. Take him out. And again, you're pretty much on the, you're on the home straight here, people. If, as long as you don't do anything stupid, you have completed the level. Okay, again, these guys will run up to you. I'm going to snipe them. There is a health pack just there, I believe, that I'm going to go get. Yep, yeah, pick up the health. Pretty much got full health. There's a guy up on the roof. Quah! I don't do any quick scoping. I'm pretty disappointed in that. Don't do any quick scoping, but yeah. See here, take off the stragglers that are struggling to kill me. And I think that's it, pretty much. They're all dead. I think, I hope. Yeah, they're all dead. What I'm going to do now is I make my way up to the pub, which is around this corner. You see here, I've got this far and I'm really paranoid, so I keep scoping to make sure there is no one else. Up to the pub. Again, um, I was worried that I had to put my uniform on, but you come up to the get up to the door on the left, you idiots. That's the one. Press action, puts your uniform on. Go on, press action then. There we go. Um, with your ID papers out. This is amazing. Just look at this. They're all chatting away. The noise, the atmosphere of this pub is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Playing the piano, they're all chatting away. Got to get rid of those two guards so I can get up those stairs. How do you do that? You give the piano man a tip. Yeah, he knows that one. You know Tyre Cruz Dynamite, really? Wow, that's awesome. Okay, hands on on the piano, and away we go. This is quality. Look, listen to the singing. I'll turn the volume up so you can hear the singing for a little bit. That is absolutely brilliant, you have to say, guys. And anyway, you make your upstairs, open the door, you come up onto this balcony here, and the next stage is basically you need to create a distraction for your informative to approach your information to approach you and let you know. So you throw the pints off and they bounce like that, then they smash, they bounce and smash, it's awful. And this guy's like, What a bitch, why are you throwing my beer on the floor? And this guy like 
launches himself off the balcony, and then they have the world's best fight. Love it. Look, little. Oh, 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 bring it on. Oh, oh, I'm gonna not punch you properly. Oh, 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 wait for it. Oh, oh yeah, now it's on. Game on. You threw the first punch, and now I'm. Oh, oh, knee to the face. Oh, 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 oh. This is the best fight ever. Oh, he's tired. Deep breath, son. Deep breaths. Oh, it's a low blow! And then he mounts him, and he just beats the shit out of him. Punch him in, in the face. Anyway, guys, this guy is my informative, apparently, and he's going to lead me to the truck. That is the end of the level. Praise the Lord! I've done it. It's so annoying, this level. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. The Let's Play it will continue to be live after this level, unless I get majorly stuck again. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've enjoyed this game. Check out the other parts, I'll put some links. Bronze star, couldn't give a toss what the star is. I would like a gold star, but guys, I've done the level. Get the trophy so you can see this is the first time I completed this level on the highest difficulty. Took me, what, 16 minutes in total? Absolutely loved it. Really enjoyed it now I've completed it. Guys, on to the next level. Check out the next part. Catch you all soon. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all later.